ground level to a bird's eye view. People all over the world witnessed a $200 million disaster on Wallops Island on Virginia's eastern shore. The spectacular but upsetting sight that has everyone wondering what went wrong. And it was a shocking sight for everybody. Thanks for joining us, everyone. I'm Donna Hamilton. And I'm Stan Stovall. You saw that unmanned rocket explosion yesterday live right here on 11 News at 6 o'clock. It was one of those sites you never expect to see while you're broadcasting True. a live broadcast, but there it was. 11 News reporter Lowell Melzer joins us live from Wallops uh, Island Flight Facility with new details tonight. Lowell? Yeah, and the launch pad here at Wallops Island is eerily quiet tonight from our view at the Visitor's Center here at the NASA facility. Witnesses of the rocket explosion describe it as both horrifying and scary all at the same time. Today, representatives from NASA, the FAA, NTSB, and Orbital Sciences, which owns and operates the rocket, tried to piece together what caused this disaster. And we have liftoff. It was supposed to be a celebration of space Tuesday night at 622 as Orbital Sciences unmanned Antares rocket lifted off at NASA's Wallops Island facility on the Virginia shore. But that celebration quickly turned to horror as about six seconds after liftoff, the rocket fell to the earth and exploded a number of times. As it was, you know, taken off, we noticed that it was going awfully slow, you know, and I said, man, that's awfully slow. And then somebody said, yeah. And then somebody said, it's not going to make it, you know. And then the next thing, it, you know, an explosion, big ball of flour, and I mean, it was big. Brothers Terry and Chuck Lazenby were watching the launch at a friend's house on the water. The explosion was so powerful, it knocked some people over and caused minor damage. The big explosion, there was a shock wave come across the, the water and, uh, and knocked out two of the uh, window lights out of the, uh, the house that we were at. So We were confident. Uh, going into this mission. Representatives with Orbital Sciences tell 11 News the company is in the process of securing the launch pad so that it can gather data from debris as well as electronic data that came from the rocket to the NASA Control Center before the failed launch. There was also some worry that debris may have strayed off NASA grounds, but so far none has been found. Any idea what went wrong? Well, not yet. Um, you know, we too are very <laughs> interested in, in finding the root cause. You know, we, we witnessed it yesterday. We saw the videos, uh, but it's too early to tell. This is the third contracted cargo supply mission for Orbital Sciences. On this mission, 5,000 pounds of science and research crew supplies, vehicle hardware, and spacewalk tools were to be delivered to the International Space Station. NASA officials did release a statement concerning the well-being of folks on the space station, saying, quote, the crew of the International Space Station is in no danger of running out of food or other critical supplies, unquote. Now, according to NASA, an interesting note here, Baltimore's Reed Wiseman, uh, who was on the International Space Station, was to play a key role with this mission. He was to operate the crane arm to move that cargo into the station so they could unload it. I tried to reach him on Twitter, but he did not respond. Uh, the word from Orbital Sciences, though, as far as the investigation is concerned, is they expect to have it wrapped up in a week or so. In Wallops Island, Virginia, I'm Lowell Melser, WBAL, TV 11 News.